Hi Virgo, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is a reading for March 1st through 7th, 2021, which means that 17% of this year is done. Psh, ever. And it just seems like a continuation of last year, right? So regardless, I actually had a really good weekend. I learned not here, but here, that the divine dwells in me. I am the goddess, or I'm one with the goddess. Whether it's God, goddess, source, universe, whatever verbiage you're comfortable with. And so the first card we get is the Queen of Pentacles. And this is generally queens were back in the day were women, but today doesn't really matter so much on the sex. But this is all about getting the job, getting being a self-made person, getting the promotion, moving forward in your career. And that's really good that we are going to be, you're going to be moving forward in your career. But first, there's some mega change happening. And you're like, word, I don't want mega change. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. But as this change happens, turn it over, it's Upside down, bloop, 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 bloop. This is all about celebrating with friends, drinking champagne, just having a good old time. When this change happens, it is a cause for celebration for you because you're being called to do this. You're also being given amazing good luck, but it's reverse. So we turn it over. And this is telling me that this change is gonna take place really soon. But the good luck, the celebration, the drinking the champagne, the whatever, the good, it's going to take a little bit longer. It's a coming, it's just not here yet. And one of the things that's required in this case is the page of wands. The page of wands is about communication, maybe computer work, learning what it takes to be part of a team player. And I think that you really need to do that. You need to learn to communicate. That might mean taking a course in communication. Oh, I know. Courses are just so sucky. Now, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the Earth Magic Oracle deck. I am in love with this deck. So, the first card I get for y'all is Waterfall, Effortless. As these things are unfolding, they're not going to take your effort. You just have to sit back and let it happen. Let it flow over you like a waterfall. Let it come to you. Accept it, embrace it, love it, because it's gonna to come to you anyway. You might as well embrace it. And the volcano, volatility. So as this water is washing over you, you're like, no, I don't want that. I want it now. No, you can't have that hurt, by the way. Ow. No, no, no. You can't. I just have it now. Sorry. And I'm also going to get Tsunami, which is a wake up call. So, as things are washing over to you, you are feeling volatile. You're going, Psh! you're wanting to explode like a volcano. And the tsunami is the water coming Psh! back. If you just sit there, and let the waterfall wash over you. You don't fight it. You meditate upon it. You let it come naturally. It's not gonna be volatile. You're not gonna need a tsunami. You're gonna be okay. But these changes are coming and they're good changes. You have reason to celebrate these changes. And one more card for y'all grounding. This card says you need to be grounding. That might mean meditation, walking outside in the dirt, getting your feet dirty, <sighs> camping, hiking, something to do to ground you to the earth, to dig your roots deep into the ground so that when this tower is happening when all this volatility is happening when everything is coming at you and you're just like oh my god i can't take any more shit you can withstand 
like a tree with its roots planted deep in the earth. Not a tree that has shallow roots that will blow over, but a tree that is grounded. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube page. Oh, and check out these earrings. My granddaughter made them. And she's Fiona the Fay on Instagram.